I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. On today's show, we are highlighting Women's History Month, how to get your yearbook selfie, a choice some of us may remember, and a way for you to be healthier. This is Bach, I'm SOA Today. March marks Women's History Month. A woman you might not have heard of is Angela Davis. She was a revolutionary born in 1944. Throughout her career, she advocated for women's and African Americans' rights. Davis saw racism and sexism through her childhood. As a teenager, she formed interracial study groups, which were broken up by the police. Later in life, Davis joined the Black Panthers during her job as a UCLA professor. She was imprisoned on the charges of helping another black activist break out of prison. After 18 months, however, she was found innocent and acquitted. She has written several books, including her most famous, Our Prisons Obsolete, Freedom as a Constant Struggle, and Women, Race, and Class. Angela Davis still continues to be an activist today. Now to a message about why you need an essential part of life with Kira. I wake up every morning, always tired. I stay up till the last minute doing things. Why do I put myself through this? I'm in school. I can barely keep my eyes open. I fight with my sister. I become moody with my parents. If only I just got some sleep. I definitely need to get more sleep. Tune into Thursday's show for a mental health minute about how to get the sleep that you need. In other news, yearbook selfies are due March 5th. All photos must follow the directions provided, as well as the student code of conduct. To submit a picture, go to the link shown on screen or on our Moto page. Now to Jacob with another forgotten fab. Furbies have been popular since 1998, and for the three years it was sold, over 40 million of the toy were created. Five of a foul shorts bejeweled Furby have been rumored to be worth $100,000. However, because of this popularity, a counterpart came out called the Hatchimals with one noticeable difference. They came out of an egg. These noticeable toys were sold out in 2016 with parents scrabbling to get them for their kids' holiday presents. Just like their counterpart, counterpart Hatchimals have a golden Hatchimal that only five, 55 of them in the world have been created. Now, back to Ellie. Thanks, Jacob. I've never had a Furby, but I'll be sure to research them after that story. Well, that's all we have for you today. I'm Ellie Simons, wishing you a great day.